Hi everyone, Andy here from That UFO Podcast and doing this for the first time as I feel this is the best way to get this info out to you. I reached out to James Fox today who, as you may or may not know, is out in Virginia, Brazil, currently recording his... Well, it's not the follow-up to the phenomenon because that is going to have a Phenomenon 2 direct sequel. This is an independent piece on the Virginia incident that happened in Brazil in the mid-90s. And I reached out to James to ask him if he had any updates for us because he's posted some really cool stuff on his Facebook recently. And uh, I asked him, did he have any quotes or, or something he could send over? And this is what he shared with me. So I'm going to start playing the video at the same time of the incident he's describing. But this is what he describes as the craziest day of his career. So what you're seeing here is behind the scenes of his shoot. Uh, the guy we came to talk to, and this is from James, was the military officer driving the car on the night of January 20th, 1996, when his passenger, Marco Sheresi, jumped out of the car and captured the alien with his bare hands. We were with a high-level politician whose father was chief of police and has known the witness since the early 80s. We even had the blessing of the town mayor, but the witness said we were in danger asking him questions, then said he would shoot us all if we didn't leave immediately. And James has then said there is more to share when they get back to the USA. So thanks to James for sending that over. A lot of people have been asking about this piece. This is something James was on the podcast talking about quite recently that he hopes to have filmed, put together and ready to release independently, more than likely on demand, not in theatres. Um, so available for download on your usual platforms, uh, hopefully March, April, May of next year. Um, with the Phenomenon 2 direct sequel being filmed thereafter. And as you can see here, the crew are all leaving and they've basically been talking in the local Brazilian Portuguese. I'm a bit lost on that one. Um, and a mix of English as to what's happened, but they've been told to leave. So it's, you know, it's not the, the easiest place to go and shoot. And it's amazing that James is spending so long out there, away from his family, on his own, to, to bring us this piece of, of footage in the documentary. So thanks to James for the little update for you. Hopefully you've found this useful and I'll share this to everyone on the social media platforms as well folks thanks again for supporting myself in the show and I'll speak to you soon